The event, which took place at Arena Joby Primary School Playgrounds, brought in hundreds of both locals and visitors from different parts of the country to grace the occasion with a message of unity and peace dominating the event. Brigadier Musizori Felix, the 4th Division Commander of the Uganda People's Defense Force, who represented General Muhozi Kainarugaba as the chief guest lauded the people in the region, for denouncing rebellion, saying, for long, the people in the region suffered from rebellions. I want to thank all of you for having denounced the rebellious uh, tendencies so that the uh, people can settle back to their, to their areas, be productive and live in peace so that even their children can go to school and uh, we witness the uh, witness development. Brigadier Musizori Felix implore the cultural chiefs to take up the mantle of bringing peace in their communities for economic transformation. And also call upon you that in case if these rebellious people try to come up, please, it should be the cultural institution using your powers to dialogue and convince those rebellious people come back so that we have a peaceful Uganda. Mr. Mpimbaza Samuel, the resident district commissioner of Bongi said, a nation without culture is a dead nation, adding that for long many government programs have been misused because there are no strong cultural institutions which use to mobilize and monitor the programs, but since the institution is now in place, he believes the programs will strive. A nation without a culture is a dead nation. So Obongi has been having a lot of problems because of lack of culture. Defilement is on the increase. Abandonment of families is on the increase. Eating of marijuana, smoking of uh, uh, opium, a lot of bad things have been happening. Early marriages and so on of children who are below 18 years. So now that we have a paramount chief, I think it is a great occasion that is going to unite our people and also make sure that the cultures are respected. Honorable Okunji Louis Drale, the Vice Chairman Local Council 5 Obongi District said the cultural leaders have the potential to advocate for many services such as health and education from different development partners and the government so that their subjects benefit from such services. So they can advocate for many things whereby there will be construction of other institutions, cultural institutions and sites, whereby this can help us in uh, also in education, improving our, boosting our education system. Mr. Manga Charles, the Coordinator Patriotic League of Uganda, PLU, in Madisab region said, the Patriotic League of Uganda has managed to achieve peace and security and makes them ready to take up any responsibility in driving the country forward, adding that such visions can only be achieved by offering support to the cultural institutions across the country. We have achieved a total peace and security. We are therefore ready to take off and so we have joined other ranks in Uganda to embrace the ideology of patriotic, patriotism and economic transformation. Uh, this vision can only be achieved through support to uh, support to the cultural institution like this. Since 1914, the people in Madisa region have been living without chiefs after the chiefdoms were abandoned by the colonial masters as a way of having authority over the people. However, the current government thought it wise to reinstate the chiefdoms so as to give back power to the people and the cultural leaders and centralize the administration of the people for easy mobilization of the locals to benefit from the several government interventions for the people across the country. It's upon this background that the paramount chief of Farego Mocha clan was coronated. Dominic Antonio Kumu, West Nile TV, Nile Cass.